I think they have two fans. The one is this is for the charge controller is running. I think the other one is for the inverter. That's what it is. And there is no load on it. So the inverter is not. That fan is not running right now. So I use um, a two gauge wire that goes for the battery. Two gauge not too hot it's two gauge then i have a 10 gauge i think it's a 10 yeah 10 gauge that comes in here for charging which um the ac input you can see but i'm not charging i just i, I test that uh, connected wires yesterday then i have the other one down there for the transformer because 230 volt ac to uh 120 US or North America so this is a 10 gauge wire coming in bringing power from the so from the solar to the inverter so I just want to show you how the Vevor or Vvo Vevor the brand right here so guys if you have to see this um the manufacturer of vevo i'm doing a test for you guys a review on your machine this is the first time i'm testing this uh it's not a in machine it's just it's okay it's not a us um compliance but i've seen a lot of their machines they're making out there so i just want to make a review if you've seen this, the manufacturer, Vevo or Vivo, V E V O R, contact me so that we can do more tests on your machines. Then this is what I'm testing with lithium metal hydride battery. The lithium metal hydride from battery hookup. So, I'm trying to do review for these two companies. I've been doing reviews on batteries on battery hookup. And Ryan is a great guy. He's a good guy. Ryan with his girlfriend and all the crew down there is awesome. Outstanding. So this is what it is. Lithium metal hydride from battery cup so this is the test with the Vevor and this is my Renogy Renogy I'm doing a test for you as well on your um, battery meter here goes the shunt right there so three companies I'm running with right now checking out their stuff Okay, and the next one, that's the big boss right there, Midnight Solar. I've been doing a lot with Midnight Solar. It's an American company, awesome, outstanding. Okay, this is a great, this is a good, good, good company with the Outback Systems. So this is what I'm doing. It comes to clouds. And those the connections here. So I'm not too sure about this. If this one can do a parallel, you can able to stack them, or you can able to program to have a comfort right there. Okay. It does have an RS232, but it has a comfort right here. You can plug to RS232 in the comfort. It has a breaker down here. 30 volt <coughs> input so whatever is the stickers there I think it's the pass inspection or whatever so that's the stickers right there so that's it bye bye